So this is a Mead um, electronic focusing unit. It basically has a DC motor inside and this guy just plugs into the um, control panel and that motor can extend and retract this inner tube. So optically there's you know, no glass in there, it's just straight through. All it's doing is changing the total distance of your optical path to do micro focusing. Um, and so with the mirror kind of that flops around a bit um, in the telescope it's really nice to get gross focusing done, lock that mirror down and and then do fine focusing with this guy. Now it has standard SCT threads that it'll screw into the back of a telescope with. My Mead telescope has these super big threads, so it has this adapter that basically goes from the, the super large aperture on the back of the telescope um, to the SCT standard threading. Now the side that faces away from the telescope does not have threading in here. Um, basically it's for a two inch tube so you can put in a star diagonal or you could put an eyepiece directly in there um, and you basically can tighten that down here. Um, when I got it it had a single screw. There's actually spots where you can have two screws so one here and one there and then here there's a spot where you could have um, a kind of um, down converter to a, like a 1.5 inch um, eyepiece that would fit in here and you could have the screw come all the way through and out so even when it's all the way retracted you could still put eyepieces in and out. So the Mead electronic focuser doesn't have any threading here. Um, you basically just put either an eyepiece directly in there or a star diagonal directly in there and then it's tightened down with this screw here and there's an option to have another screw on the other side that didn't come with it. Um, now this Mead here just has a straight two inch tube. I'm going to swap out this Celestron two inch star diagonal because optically they're basically the same quality. Um, and this guy here has a notch on it and so that way the screw can go in there and I tighten it down it won't rotate. If it loosens up a little bit it might rotate but it won't fall out and that's kind of important when you might have you know a big camera, an expensive camera hanging off the end of that. It's also nice for expensive eyepieces in general. You don't want these things falling out. I haven't had a problem with it because it generally has enough torque, you know, going like this with the weight on it that I, I haven't had it, you know, try to pop out on me, but I feel a lot more comfortable with that little notch in the in the pipe. So these thumb screws on the Mead Electronic Focuser, as best I can tell, they are just 632nd screws. So if you have a 632nd machine screw, if you can find a plastic cap for it, um, or maybe even just a knurled socket head cap screw that's 632nd, um, that is all you'd need to replace this guy. So this Mead Electronic Focuser has about a total of half inch of travel. Um, this is it fully extended. You can see these screws are out past the edge here and this guy's well past the edge. It'll go all the way back until this edge here is flush with that edge and those screws are inside. So if you're looking to start your night with this guy basically halfway in the distance giving you a quarter inch in or a quarter inch out of range, kind of line up the screws with the edge of this thing and then you're at about the halfway point.